In this video, we're going to start the CUDA software free worksheet using trigonometry to find lengths, and that's under the Infinite Algebra 1 tab. I'm going to split this up into two videos doing numbers 1 through 9 in this first video, and then finishing out with 10 through 18 in the second. So our directions are to find the missing side and round to the nearest tenth. Go ahead and write so ka toa at the top of your page. Remember, if we're working with the sine of an angle, we're using the opposite length over the hypotenuse side length. If we're working with cosine, we're using the adjacent side length over the hypotenuse. And if we're using tangent, we're doing the opposite side length over the adjacent side length. So in number one, we have to find the measure of this side x. We're given an angle of 27 degrees. We can go ahead and use this angle of 27 degrees knowing that x is opposite that angle and 10 is adjacent to that angle. So we have opposite and adjacent, so we're going to do tangent. So the tangent of 27 degrees equals opposite, which is x, over the adjacent of 10. Now remember, we're solving for this x. We want to find out what that length is or what that measure is. So in order to isolate that, we're going to multiply both sides by 10. Now we have 10 times the tangent of 27 degrees is equal to x. So then we just have to type in our calculator 10 times the tangent of 27, making sure our calculator is in degree mode since we're working with degrees. And that's going to give us 5.095. So rounding that to the nearest tenth will be 5.1. So 5.1 is equal to x for number one. So the length of this side is 5.1. And number two, again, we're solving for this side length x. We can use the angle measure of 25 degrees, knowing that x is opposite that angle and 10 is adjacent to that angle. So we're going to use tangent again and do the tangent of 25 degrees equals the opposite, which is x, over the adjacent of 10. Now, same as before, we need to isolate this x. So we're going to multiply both sides by 10, since whatever we do to the right, we do to the left and vice versa. So 10 times the tangent of 25 degrees is going to be equal to x. 10 times the tangent of 25 equals 4.66, which rounds to 4.7. So x is equal to 4.7. In number three, we're solving for x again. However, this time, x is the adjacent side, and we're also given the hypotenuse. Remembering so katoa, we're going to be using cosine because we're given adjacent a and hypotenuse h. Go back up, so katoa, here's our adjacent and our hypotenuse, so we're going to use cosine. So the cosine of 39 degrees is equal to the adjacent x over the hypotenuse 7. Just like before, we're isolating this x so we know what that's equal to. We'll do that by multiplying by 7 over 1, which is simply 7. We'll be left with 7 times the cosine of 39 degrees. That entire quantity is equal to our side x. So go ahead and type into your calculator 7 times the cosine of 39 degrees and you'll get 5.44 which rounds to 5.4. So 5.4 is x. And number 4, x this time is our hypotenuse and we have 8 that's opposite our angle. So we're using the opposite and the hypotenuse. So remembering so katoa, we're going to be using sine. So the sine of 46 degrees is equivalent 
to our opposite, which is 8, over our hypotenuse of x. We still need to isolate this x, but this time our x is in the denominator. So we need to start by multiplying both sides by x over 1. When we do that, we'll get that x times the sine of 46 degrees equals 8 but we're still isolating this x, so now we're just dividing by the sine of 46. And whatever we do to the left, remember, we do to the right. So x is going to be equal to 8 over the sine of 46. 8 divided by the sine of 46 degrees will give us 11.12, which rounds to 11.1 for number 4. And number 5, we're solving for x given this angle of 23 degrees. We know that x is opposite 23 degrees and we know that 6 is adjacent to 23 degrees. So remembering so katoa, we're going to use tangent. So the tangent of 23 degrees is equal to the opposite, which is x, over the adjacent which is 6. Remember, we're isolating this x to find what that side is equivalent to, so we're going to multiply both sides by 6 over 1, which is the same as multiplying by the whole number 6. So we have 6 times the tangent of 23 degrees, and that's equal to x. So we have 6 times the tangent of 23 equal to 2.54, which rounds to 2.5 for number 5. In number 6, using the given angle, 46 degrees, we have our adjacent, which is x, and our opposite of 7. So we're using tangent for this as well. The tangent of 46 degrees is equal to opposite 7 over the adjacent x. Now you remember, x is in the denominator, so we're going to have to do more than one step like we did in number 4. Start by multiplying by x over 1. That'll leave us with x times the tangent of 46 equal to 7. When we get that, all we need to do to get this x by itself now is to divide by the tangent of 46. That'll give us x on the left, and that's equal to 7 over the tangent of 46 degrees. When we enter that into our calculator, 7 divided by the tangent of 46 degrees, we're going to get 6.75, which rounds to 6.8. So the answer to number 6 is 6.8. In number 7, we're going to use the angle measure of 72. x is opposite that, and 20 is adjacent, so it's going to be tangent again. So the tangent of 72 degrees equals opposite x over adjacent, which is 20. In order to isolate this x, we're going to multiply both sides by 20. So we'll have 20 times the tangent of 72 degrees equal to x, since we're left with x on the right once 20 cancels out. Entering that in, 20 times the tangent of 72 is equivalent to 61.55, which rounds to 61.6. So x is equal to 61.6 or 61 and 6 tenths. Number 8, we're solving for x using this angle of 54 degrees. We know that x is adjacent to 54, and we know that 12 is the hypotenuse, because the hypotenuse is always directly opposite the right angle, or in other words, 90 degrees. So we have adjacent and hypotenuse, that's A and H, so in Sokotoa, we're going to use cosine. 
the cosine of 54 degrees equals adjacent x over hypotenuse of 12. In order to isolate that x, we're multiplying both sides by 12 over 1. So we have that x is equal to 12 times the cosine of 54 degrees. When we enter that into the calculator, we get that x is equal to 7.05, which rounds to 7.1. And a quick note, logically, 7.1 makes sense because you know your hypotenuse is always the greatest side length and 12 is indeed greater than 7.1. And lastly, in this video, we'll go over number 9. Number 9, we're solving again for this side length x given the angle of 40 degrees. x is directly opposite 40 degrees and we're also using the hypotenuse. That's going to be so, S-O-H. So we're using sine opposite and the hypotenuse. So the sine of our angle of 40 degrees is equal to the opposite x over the hypotenuse of 19. In order to isolate the x, we're multiplying by 19 over 1, which is simply 19. So 19 times the sine of 40 degrees is equal to x. All we have to do is enter that into our calculator. 19 times the sine of 40 degrees equals 12.21, which rounds to 12.2 for number 9. And as always, go ahead, click the like button, and subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to comment if you have any questions below. Continue on to the next video where we'll finish out this worksheet doing numbers 10 through 18.